Hey everyone, uh, as I mentioned uh, in my VR4 reveal video that I was missing the switch for uh, active exhaust, which is this one, Tour and Sports. And, and I, I was searching for this switch on Facebook and a lot of people commented saying, hey, even I'm missing that switch. For some reason, it keeps falling off. And I responded to somebody saying, hey, once I figure out why it keeps falling off, I'll let you know. So I think I may have figured out. And thanks to somebody on Facebook, I was able to buy the switch. It was quite, exp this is a switch cover and here's the switch I bought. So I got both, it's in working condition. So thanks to that person, it was like expensive, but it was worth it. Um, so I bought it, so I gotta take care of this. Now, let's get to the point uh, where I'll tell you why it keeps falling. So, all right. So if you look at this, right? Uh, Okay, let's look at the switch cover first. What's different on both sides? This side of the switch cover is intact. Uh, you see this? There's a small nut, small piece of plastic here that's coming out, bulging out. That kind of goes into a groove here. And this secures the switch in place. Now this switch cover typically also has the problem of falling down why because the other side it's missing that is the problem okay this is why the switch gets loose from one side like the way it's inside like this it can get loose like this at some point when you're pressing it it might just fall off that is the root cause first i didn't take a very close look and it looked like me yeah, it's a design and maybe it's cut out like that but actually not this you can clearly see it's uneven and it broke off then i looked at another switch this is the wiper switch it also has the same problem so it looks like this groove breaks here and because of which it keeps falling and another point to note uh, even after, if you have taken the switch off and let's say you didn't break it you put it back and you feel the switch doesn't have the spring action when you turn it on and off there's a reason for that I figured that out too at first I didn't notice but then I noticed if you look here very closely I'm gonna use this white straw to show you here like exactly where I inserted it. if you look here there is a hole I don't know if you can see it there is a hole where this thing goes Actually, inside that hole is a small um, uh, stainless steel ball, okay? Uh, there's a small stainless steel ball, and that is what gives it the springy action. So, for example, let's look at this switch, the wiper switch. This side of the switch... It actually operates the switch it has this switch it's the same switch and it's put on like this right so this side of the switch actually operates the lever which is like position one center and third all the three positions right now this other side it actually sits this one as you can see here oh let me show yeah you can see that now so the ball sits in the center so this thing sits on the the ball goes inside that groove it doesn't fall out okay and uh this uh it's kind of an inverted w or call it an m the center of the m it sits on the ball and now when you press it beautifully goes this way and it glides over the ball like this like this and that's what gives it the springy action there's no spring in, inside this thing if you're if the switch feels lifeless and it feels loose and like you you don't feel any pressure it's because you don't have the ball you're supposed to have that ball the combination of that ball and this groove here keeps it tight in place it puts some pressure so when you press, you feel that pressure 
okay without that ball you're not going to feel the pressure even if you fix the snatch here okay so i think the best way to solve this problem is like i have the spare switch cover if you don't have it you'll find it in junkyards and many of these are available i would say so i'm okay destroying this one switch cover because this one is priceless okay so what i plan to do is i'm going to try and cut out this this piece here in a semicircle and uh, introducing my plastic welding kit here so i'm gonna plastic weld that uh, to this switch i could have used super glue but i'm not sure it will fall off so i'm gonna glue it i'll try plastic welding not because it's any better or it'll work out better but i'm a little curious to explore it and see if it can i can do a better job with plastic welding so let me try and cut the switch out okay show you here is the piece with the small dot nipple whatever you call it so uh, I gotta glue this piece here and see how it fits okay uh, I just trying to see which side was up and which was down okay let me quickly figure that out okay this is how it was so this side is down this is up okay so i gotta round the edges so this is the reason why everybody's switch is falling because they don't have that black nipple and probably some at some point somebody's active error had a problem and people thought it was with the switch they removed the switch unknowingly they broke the tab and finally active error got sorry active exhaust active exhaust was restored but that switch tab was broken and nobody noticed and that's why everybody's switches are falling I'm almost trying to, I could have sanded it, yeah. Okay, this is. Okay, you know what, I'm going to It's almost round It's almost getting evening here Okay, now this thing might fit.
I just don't want this piece to fly away. Okay, I think I may have gotten it this time. I hope I don't screw it up during plastic welding. I could use super glue, so after I fix it, this is how it's gonna look. I don't know if you can see it, it's just too dark here. Um, I don't know why it's tracking my face. I'm least interested in showing that. Oh, perfect. Now I can show you. You see the tab? That was missing. That you can see right on top of my thumb. See, that's the piece that was missing. So, let's try to... I'm holding it with my hand and I need to super glue it. See, it's coming off slowly. I need to either do plastic welding or super glue it. Let's see. <coughs> If we can super glue seems a lot easier but okay just one more small cut and looks good I don't know how I'm gonna do it it's so small this is going to be extremely difficult and I think super glue would have been super easy oh it aligns perfectly right You see that it aligns perfectly right at the center exactly this is the way I want it I'm just wondering how to do it okay so I use my glue gun to set this set this in place you can see it's happily sitting there and that semicircle that you can see that is what is the crack that I need to fill with uh, this thing and feel a little bit better right now not too much but let's see if I can fix it I'm not a pro at this this is the second thing that I'm welding using this so I am not very good at plastic welding so let's try it out okay see how fast it heats up like it's almost scary
okay all right i think it got welded properly as you can see i'm just gonna remove the glue gun and i think we should be good so it's not very good job but i think it'll do the job uh as long it doesn't as long as it doesn't fall off i think we are going to be okay so what i'm gonna do next is we're gonna go mount it on the car and test it if it's able to turn on and off the touring mode okay see you back inside the car okay okay this is perfect i had no lights and so i had to re-record so as you can see this switch is different from this one so this switch has a place in the middle that you can see there is a hole and the, your lever which is the longer arm of the switch here this one should go inside here and so i don't have the switch so i'm grabbing an allen wrench and i will move it see the whole thing moves so that's how the switch operates so you need to make sure you see now you can see better this is what causes touring and sports <coughs> so when you install it you want this thing to be right in the middle this this light this square that you see where i'm putting my allen wrench right now that's where the long arm goes and pushes it up or pushes it all the way down so make sure this is in the center and yeah like that uh, in the center and then you're good to go ahead and insert the switch and as you can see here this tab is already kind of broken so that's all right that's how the switches fall off too but i don't think i can repair that and on this side it is intact you can see it's beautiful here so at least this one side will hold it okay but i have this tabs intact on both sides on my car so i'm not much worried about it i just need to somehow gently insert the switch in its space and put this in the center like i showed here and we should be good to use it okay I'll see you inside the car. Okay, so we're inside the car. It's super dark. I'm somehow trying to put some light. As you can see, that is the steel ball that I was talking about. Uh, the switch rolls over it to on and off. Right, so you need this thing. It doesn't fall out like this. So most likely you already have it in your car. If not, you need to find the right size steel ball and just put it there. And that is the rectangle i was talking about needs to be in the center that's where the long arm of the switch cover lever goes in right so if you yeah so i'm gonna try and insert it so i'm gonna insert this side first because that's what i repaired and then this side because that's solid it's not broken so most likely this should not break and this one is maybe a little weak so i'm gonna insert this side first so not to put any extra stress on it okay and then we'll test it out and see if that works okay okay so small correction so there is actually a spring here so it was just missing in my other switch so i'm gonna lift up the steel ball that i talked about and see that you'll see a uh, you see that is a steel ball I was talking about and I'm gonna pull out the spring it's right here okay I might as well drop it out yeah so this is a spring so the spring goes in the center hole and right on top of that steel ball goes so what happened was I tried to put the switch on my car <clears throat> and looks like both these tabs on the sides, this and this are broken. Here at least one of them is fine, the other one is broken. So inserting the switch will be a little bit easier, it will also hold in place. So I'll have to take this entire switch out of the car and replace with this one. 
so I'm gonna fix this one up and see if that works all right here we go so I was able to put the switch uh, it works perfectly I can feel the pressure the spring action and it nicely rolls up between on and off during sport but I can tell you one thing for sure if I have to take the switch cover off it's gonna break again and I'll have to do the same repair but I don't know how many times I can do the same repair it'll reach a point where it's going to be irreparable so be very careful i mean there shouldn't be a need to open these switch covers if things are not working right you might as well want to remove it from behind here um, and see what's wrong there's nothing here to go wrong within the switch right um, so if something is not working it's probably the cables or they're not making contacts here but there's nothing much to break inside the switch Mm, so as you, I'll show you, you can hear the clicking sound now. See? That's it. Just two positions and works perfectly. Beautiful clicking sound. So yes, if you're tour and sport, uh, I mean the active exhaust switch is broken. This is how you can fix if you have the switch cover. If not, find a switch cover and you can use it. But remember one thing, you cannot which use this switch on this one like how i tried to use it while i didn't have this switch so that's not possible because this has three positions one two and three and this has only two one and two that's it all right thank you for watching all right so it was quite challenging to remove this entire switch panel from here it has never been open 31 years so you can imagine how tight and snug it was so i almost i think uh, broke a couple of tabs when removing it so this one before i put it inside i want to make sh because this is like absolutely tight like you know here it's so snug i could barely put inside my uh, uh, prying tools so what i'm going to do now before i put them inside and again it becomes a problem to take them out i'm probably going to test it just while the pigtails are hanging like this and see if that works so here's the moment of truth uh, okay oops my wipers were on because i had to put that lever down so that i could access it as you can see it's off let's press touring there you go touring comes up turn it off it's off turn it on and turn it off i think with that i'm ready to put the switch back in place and i think we are doing good okay all right Thank you for watching and if you have the same problem probably you could do the same thing it's just about fixing the broken tab super glue it do plastic welding and put it back in place make sure you test it before you put it back in place because it's going to be difficult to take it out and it'll definitely break when you take it out all right thank you for watching so one problem in my vr4 is fixed as of now next will be most likely fixing the crack in the rear wing and there's a new wing coming this Friday, so that'll be the next install. All right, thank you.